Hey y'all, welcome back. This is gonna be our third session for our title card design. Don't worry about trying to follow along with this or trying to build it because I don't really know how it's gonna end up yet and we wanna actually make sure that we've got the design in place before we go do the build. So builds will be a following video. For now, we're gonna pick up where we left off and things are in pretty good shape where I can go and click our button and I can move our, uh, let's see, we can change the size a little bit. None of these are gonna look great if we just do weird stuff with them, but minus 10, whatever. We can move things around. We can, we can move it left, right. We can move it up, down, and we can change the size. So very cool. What numbers were we at? 120 minus 120, zero, who knows? Fine. Actually, we do wanna bump it up just a little bit. So let me put this at, I don't know, 50, see what happens. Because what I wanna do now is add in the other blocks of text that we wanna have. There's gonna be a block of text that has the glow letters and a block of text with the, with the green letters. And what it'll end up being is it'll be like, hello world, and then in the green letters, it'll say part one, and then glow letters, it'll say design. Because that'll let me do title cards for the, the different parts of the videos. So we'll get hello world part one design, and then hello world part two building, or build, or something like that. Don't really know what it's gonna be yet. We'll figure that out. But I wanna do basically the same thing for these individual, for these other letters. Now I can't use the exact same variables that I have set up because they would eat each other basically. If I tried to use the glow letter variables and the black letter variables, they'd get confused and it would put the black letters where the glow letters were supposed to go and vice versa. So I th I'm not exactly sure how this is gonna work, but I might be able to just do some copy paste and make some new variables here. Um, and there's not really copy paste as much in Scratch as there is drag stuff onto other things and see what happens. So we're gonna run that. I'm gonna start with this. This very, actually, uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna make one change if we can make it. And we'll see if this actually works. This is called letter maker, but I'm gonna have three different types of letter makers that I wanna have. So I wanna rename this variable or rename this block in order to make it make a little bit more sense. So edit, hopefully this is gonna work. If we call this block letter, maker well, let's actually call it make block letter because that's what we're doing like we're we're performing an action there we're making a block letter w making a block letter o making a block letter r yeah that's pretty good so this is where i'm not 100 percent sure how this is going to work let me close this down we don't need that anymore if we take this i'm just going to throw this on the glow letters Ooh, it's highlighting all those things i don't know why that was doing that if i click on glow letters does it show up here mm, it does not that's a bummer oh maybe because i can't see it what if I see it? It's still highlighting both of those things. It's not great. Hmm. I'm actually gonna close and restart this page for a second. We're gonna see what happens here. Um, I think it's saved. Let's say stay on page. Let's save it just in case. I'm gonna quit my browser and we're gonna start it again in one second. Okay, so the browser just restarted. Let's see if we can actually drag this and move to the right place now. No, interesting. I really thought you could do that. Let me try this. If I bring point direction over here and then grab that, no, it's still, hmm, okay. No, this is how you do it. I just missed it somehow the first time. Yeah, okay, so you do just drag and drop it. I don't know, that was weird. It didn't work the first time, I don't think, but whatever, it's there now. Okay, I was that was very confusing to me. Sometimes things behave in a seemingly different way, even though I was probably the one who did something slightly different on my side. Whatever, it's fine, it's working now, we have it. So let me see, can I grab, I, so make block letter is the, is the defined variable we have here. And we don't wanna have that, that function exist over here. We need to make a new function. And I, when I say function, uh, really it's my blocks is what we're talking about. So I wanna make it my blocks. I'm gonna take this main off, cause that was from the other one. We're gonna make a block and this is gonna become make glow letter. And we need that an input, which is gonna be the letter that we wanna make. So there's this. And what we can do here is I should be able to come back over to our block letter. I wanna grab all this stuff and copy it over. See if it copies this time. Hey, it copied, great. And we're just gonna line that stuff up there. Now again, these are all looking at these block letter sizes and these block letter values. We need to make new variables for glow letters with all those things. But this at least shows us the basic structure, the, the template that we wanna use, because we wanna use basically the same thing. So we need, all these need versions of the variables that are gonna be glow letter. Oh, interesting. 
I, okay, let's try something here. For this sprite only, if I do letter size here, there's letter size. Now, if I go look over here, letter size isn't there. Ah, uh, I should have done that. Okay. I made these letters global. The question, okay, okay, now this is, okay, there's, here's, a, here's a question that I don't know yet the answer to about how Scratch works, which is going to be this. If I have a variable that's for the sprite only, but if I make clones of that variable, does that work? So let me hide this stuff. Actually, no, let's do this. Let's make a new project here. And let's, let's just do this on a, its own little thing so we don't have to mess with any of the other things. I like doing this. This is one of the ways I like kind of figuring stuff out. Where I'm going to go look at, I'm going to get rid of this starter variable they give us. I don't want to use that. What I want to do is I want to say, hmm, what's the best way to do this? If we do, if we add in our letters again, which we'll pull in from the backpack. So all of our letters are in this one sprite that apparently I included this make block letter into it. Oh, interesting. Oh, wait. Oh, this might be really cool. Whoa, this may be really cool. Okay, okay, we're gonna back up a little bit. This is kind of go all over the place. That's fine. That's how this stuff happens sometimes. Check this out. I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna go open in my projects, my alphabet sprites. This is where I'm just collecting the different things of sprites. So I have them all in one, in one thing to be able to use. And I put in, uh, yeah, that, that didn't click to me, two and two together. That this, that when I added this code into the sprite and put it into this backpack, it copied this code base to it too. That's really powerful. That's really powerful. Even better, oh yeah, if this sprite is its own thing. Yeah, so a sprite's kind of like this own, its own world, its own universe, its own object. And if, this is one of those, I know this about other programming languages, but this is yet another one of the cases where I'm kind of shocked about how powerful, like this is a, this is a super powerful feature. Like that's really cool. Okay. We'll talk more about that as we, as we go through this a little bit, but just know that that is a super, like I've been doing programming stuff for a while and that's, I'm super impressed with what I just saw. Very cool out of scratch. This is good stuff. So I should be able to then do this inside this sprite. I'm just going to recreate all this stuff. Like I'm, I'm going to, uh, we'll end up deleting all this stuff, but for now I want to make new things. Uh, get rid of that one to start with. So let's make a new block. Oh, it is actually called make new, make block letter already. We're already there. Okay, cool. Ooh, this is very cool. Okay. I'm thinking a little bit. I don't need letters done. That was something we were using earlier. We're going to, we're going to change. Hmm. There's different ways we can do this, but it's, it's really cool. Oh, this is really cool. Okay, so there are a few things that I need that are basically the same things we've done in the past, but we're going to let them sink in and kind of come back to us again this time. I'm going to, I'm actually going to start this all the way over. I want to start this completely scratch. So I'm going to delete this, delete block. And if I delete, I'm just going to drop all that stuff. And then we're going to actually delete all of these as well. Because I've done this a few times now. And this is one of the other things that I find effective in programming. One of the reasons I like doing this is I often don't know the a better way to do things until the third time and that's not just me like you'll hear a lot of artists and people who do anything work on stuff talk about how sometimes it takes you a few different tries to get to actually doing it and like it, it can be really uncomfortable not knowing what you want to know or exactly how to do it but like as you get through the first few times you get more practice at getting through the first few times you're like okay this is just how this goes so here we go. We're going to leave. Yeah, let's actually start completely from scratch. Edit. Can I delete that? Can I make it go away? Make a block. Apparently you can't delete a block. Interesting. Oops. That's not what I wanted to do. Define. Edit. Delete. Cancel. Huh. Interesting. I guess you can't delete a block that exists. Delete block. Delete the block. First remove all use. Okay. So delete this. Now I'm just trying to figure out how to delete stuff. Delete block. Ah, I got it. Got to delete the on the page instead of over here. Okay. So. Step one, we know we want a block and we want this block to be called make block letter. And we know that we want it to be whatever that is. Probably not great. That's just, that's the behind the scenes of how the computer is, knows how to write that word, which we can talk about at some other point, but that's not worth getting into at the moment. Everything's fine with that. It's, it's all good. It's just gobbledygook from the computer language. So make block letter and then letter. Got it. So this is our definition. 
as part of the way that this works, we want to know a few things about this. So for this sprite only, yeah, this is really cool. In, in other programming languages, you would call these local variables versus global variables. So a global variable would be a variable that anything could talk to and read to or write from necessarily, or potentially. A local variable means only one thing can read to it or write to it. And this is, this is a local thing. And so for this local, if we just do size, I'm gonna do block, I do, want, I do want a good name for it. So let's do block letter size, block letter size. And cause what we we'll wanna do is on start, whoops, we're gonna go ahead and set that value. And we'll just put it at 100%, cause this is gonna be a percentage. I mean, it's, it's basically this number right here, size eight. Why is that eight? Oh, cause that's super tiny, that's why. 100, there you go, look like that. So the other variables that we had were something we're gonna go look at right now, actually. <coughs> In our other project back here, for title cards, we can go take a peek. <coughs> and those will be, so this is what we wanna replicate. We want block letter size, X start, Y start, X spacing, Y spacing. And I might reverse the way those words work. We're gonna look at that in just a second. But we, let's, let's just get these, like we know these are the values we want. We don't need glide time and we don't need main right now because those aren't part of this particular thing. But if we do these other two, so we've got block letter size. Now we need block letter X start, Y start. Let me just make those. Block letter X start. Okay, I, I'm, gonna, I'm actually gonna reverse these. Start X for the sprite only. Make a variable block letter start Y for the sprite only. And then we've got spacing. Oh, we're also gonna need current to exist. Yeah, I like this actually even a little bit better. Current X, current Y, okay. I go back and forth sometimes about the order that I like having variable names exist in. And there are many a joke about how hard it is to name things in computer science and in computers and programming. And it's kind of not a joke. It's funny, but it's also true. In this case, I kind of know what I want to do, but there will be other cases where we don't know. We all know that. Block letter, current X, current Y. So we need current X and current Y. Whoops. Oh, current X, current Y. Wait, what are the other ones that we needed? Oh, spacing. Block letter, spacing, Y. The sprite only. Oh, did I do the other one as the sprite only? No, I did not. So block letter, spacing X, we didn't do right. Block letter, spacing X. Whoops. Block letter, spacing X but this time we're actually gonna make it B for the sprite only. There you go. So I'm just looking at block letter, block letter, block letter, block letter, and it didn't say that earlier. Spacing was over here, and it wasn't, it was just a local variable. Or it was a global variable, excuse me. Sliders, oh, no way. I forgot about sliders. Yo, I forgot about sliders. That's cool. Normal read out, okay, perfect. So looking back over at our startup here, we wanna have the letter start, and then the, sp the starts and the spacings both needs to be set. So let's add them in now. I'm just gonna add four things. We know we need four things and then we'll switch the four things that we actually need to have happen here. Start X, start Y, spacing X, spacing Y. This will be our startup. I love this. Actually, you know what? Let's, let's, yeah, let's make these sliders. Why not? Letter size, definitely a slider. Oh, it's not picking up right now. Okay, that's fine. Hit run. I went to 100. Okay, never mind. We'll deal with that later. Don't worry out. So start X, we're gonna do at minus 112 and then 50. These don't, numbers don't super matter. This will just be like where it goes to start with. And like basically what I'm doing is I'm recreating the thing that we did over here, but I'm assigning it now into the sprite directly. That is the sprite that goes into the backpack, which is what lets us move it around between projects. So I should just be able to like grab this thing and have it like work. And that again is super powerful and super cool because it means I can do work once and then use that same work over and over and over and over and over and over again without having to do it. And like, that's really cool because you, you end up working on the things that you want to be working on instead of the stuff behind the scenes, basically. It's really super cool, super impressive. So spacing is going to be 30 and 30. I'm just making some stuff up at this point now. I could try and remember how to do all this stuff, but I'm just gonna look and see what we did earlier and try and, and I'm, gonna put the same, I'm gonna put the same stuff in place because we've already done all the thinking work to get this done. Hopefully this will just go with these local variables or the, yeah, these local variables now and we'll see if it goes. So set size to looks, we need set size to 
and that's going to be down variables we're going to go grab block letter size right and then switch costume to letter so under looks we're going to go find sets sorry switch costume to and then we can grab a letter and pull it down here. Nice. Go to a random position. Oh, uh, so I'm not going to add in the randomization of this. This was earlier where it was, uh, we we're doing all the bouncing around where I think it, actually if we turn glide time to 0.1, like we could add this back in. Definitely didn't work. Why didn't it work? Okay, it's broken. I don't know why it's not working. We'll have to fix that later. But that's where it like would kind of like jump around all over the place. I'm not going to worry about that. This is just going to be like just outputs and letters for me. We can make it fancy later, but like I want the base to just be just produce these letters and have them show up. So I'm not going to do random position. We are going to do, we do need it to be in a specific place, but instead of gliding to the place, we're going to actually just put it in the place that it needs to be. So motion, go to, and the positions that we want to have are going to be current X and current Y. And we're going to create a clone because we need the letter to stay there. And then we're gonna push it back on the layer, which is here. Click this down to back layer. And last step is to do the move of changing the block letter. This is what does the, the step-by-step -step of moving the letter to the next space or to the next slot. So we're gonna look at change. Wait, I lost it. Oh, it's in variables. We wanna change block letter current X, which is the left and the right, and we're going to make it go the value of spacing for X, which is here. Now, if I run this, we shouldn't actually see anything. Uh, we can turn all those variables off. We don't need to see them in the display. I'm going to hide these for now. If I hide them, I'm going to hide them. And let's make a couple letters and see what happens. A, B, C. Don't totally know if this is going to work or not, but we'll see what happens. A, B, C. Oh, there we go. That's actually not bad at all. Block letter size is 100%. Okay, let's do this 120. Black letter X start. Oh, we need, okay, we need to set, aha, aha, I remember what needs to happen now. We actually need to set these two values first before we do anything. So let's do the same main thing that we've got here. There's this, this is our setup, and then we're gonna make a block, and this block is gonna be called main. We may not end up running with this, but this will be kind of the start of it. And here, we need to add in the two variables that we wanna have working for us, which are gonna be, we're gonna set current X, to start X and current Y to start Y, which is this, like this. And if we run that, that's actually looking pretty good shape. Okay, so let's go, so block letters 120, start. Let's go to 160, negative 160, negative 160. And then this will be at 70. And letter spacing is gonna be 80. And letter Y spacing doesn't matter right now because we only have one online, but let's do that. There we go, look at that. Again. So like, and so it's worth pointing out, like, it seems like there's a whole bunch of code here just to make ABC show up. And if, it, if we were only ever going to put A, B, and C on here, that is true. But this lets us position more letters. So I can just add a D. It's, it's all about making it easier to just add the next letter. So we've done all this work, but now we can just add letters easily. And then if we do here, if we do set and set, and we're gonna reset our X's and our Y's. And there's even some different ways that we could make this even a little bit automated too. We could make it like a return function. Ooh, do we wanna do that? Yeah, we should probably do that. Maybe not right now, but what would be cool is like, again, this is, so th we have to put two blocks in here. And these two blocks are the same two blocks. Like if I duplicate these, I guess we can duplicate this too with the ABC again a couple times. Duplicate, 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 duplicate. It's all over the place, I love it. And just mush all this stuff together. What'll happen? is we should see a bunch of different lines of this, of A, B, C, uh, repeating. So let's see what happens. Run it. Did not work. Oh, because we didn't actually move Y forward. Yeah. We need to do, we're set X to Y. Wait, wait, Oh, oh, oh. We want the space, so, sorry. Spacing, so X, the left and right, we want to reset back to the start because we always want it to start at the same place. But for Y, the up and down, we don't want it to actually start at the same place. We want it to go... We want to adjust it. This one we can leave here, but we're going to adjust it by this. So that comes out, that comes out, and we can do this. X, Y spacing. 
I'll do another video that walks a little bit more detailed about what how this is working. So if it's a little like what's happening, that's understandable. Cause like I've done I've done enough of this stuff enough times that I kind of have a little bit of a of a head design in my head for how to do this stuff, but it maybe is not the most obvious thing. Also, it's not working. Hmm. Okay, hang on. We got a bug. Set. Oh, we don't want to set this. Ah, we're setting it. We don't want to set it. We want to adjust it. So let's get rid of these. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. And now we want to change. And again, this is where, so here's, this is exactly the thing I was talking about earlier where I'm having, I'm having to change these things in a couple different places every time I change it, which isn't a huge deal because I'm only doing it in two different places. But if I was doing it in 10 and I, and I needed to make a correction or fix a bug, like all of a sudden that's a lot more work. <coughs> but if we bring change in here and now we bring, our Y spacing in here, which is the spacing in between lines. So after every line, we want to add that same amount of spacing in. Okay, I think this might do it. Let's see what happens. Go. No, because I did X and I wanted to do spacing. No, current Y, current Y. See, this stuff gets tricky. It definitely went the wrong direction. Minus 80, minus 80. There we go. So a lot, a lot of work to get here, but like it's refined down pretty nicely. And we can, we can now just use this instead of having to like repeat this same thing every time one want to add a letter. And like, that's super cool. And here's the real question. Can I just throw this now in the backpack? Delete this one. Cause this is in my alpha, alphabet sprites. I'm just gonna save it real quick. And now if I throw this in here and we switch over to a different project, let's just make a new project all the way through and making it cool. Go to the backpack, pull in the sprite. Oh yeah, look at that, it's all there. Awesome. Just sitting right there waiting for us. Now, the other one that's really interesting, and I'm not going to get into this yet, but like there's a list down here. What does a list look like? New list for this name, for the sprite only. Letters. Block letters, letters, empty, list, zero, length, zero. I don't know how lists work yet, but like I'm really excited about lists because I think we can even make this just be like we can just type in here. I don't know. Maybe. I'll have to figure it out. TBD. I think it's be cool though. Okay, but I think that's going to wrap it for this one. Let's get rid of this list because I don't know how those work yet. We'll have to do some investigation on those. But this is cool because now I can just, now I've got a way to just make these letters. Like I can just throw letters in and have them work. And like, that's super great. I'm going to, I'm going to go through and I'm going to do the same, I'm going to do the same thing for these other two letters, but I'm going to do that offline because it's, that's just going to be a copy and paste thing. And then some minor moving around. If anything interesting comes up, I'll, I'll record a video on it, but I think that's just going to be like basically copy and pasting a whole bunch of the stuff and, and hit and go. So I'm going to call this one for here. Appreciate y'all hanging out. Have a good one. Be kind. And we will, we'll talk to you next time.